Hey, thank you for tuning in to Liberty Scales. Today I'm going to show you two different functions on the Defender 3000 indicator. Now this is good for the Defender 3000 Extreme Washdown or the regular one, which is a 33P. So uh, what we're going to basically explore today is a piece counting function on the indicator. Let's just say you had some parts that you need to count accurately. Uh, after calibration of this scale, of course, uh, which we also have that video on YouTube, then you could use this particular parameter or on the uh, indicator for piece counting. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically bolts. What you do is right now the indicators are in the regular weighing mode, but what you do is you hold the function down and it will cycle through count, check, totalization, then again it comes back to weight and then you would let it go when you see count. So basically uh, cycles through uh, different parameters that you could use, but what we need is the basically, I'll do it again one more time, the count, right? Not check rate, not totalization, not weight, count. That's the one we're after, right? So from here you'll press the on and off, button to enter, right, to clear that last setting, whatever it had, and it says put five. But let's just say I, I had more than five. And in many applications, if you use more than five samples, you get better results as well. Of course, it comes down to the scales capability as well. But in this particular case, I have, I do have the five. So one, two, three, four, five. We take all five bolts, place in the middle of the scale, right? From there, you'll press the yes button and it would store that information. Now, let's just say I have two more screws here that I want to test out to see if show me seven, right? It does show me the seven. And if I were to remove one screw, would it show me six? It does show me the six. Alrighty, so this is the piece counting function of the scale. Now let's just go over it again. Basically all, you, all you're doing from the start is just you're just holding down the function button and it cycles through different options here. Weighing, counting, check weigher, totalization, weighing. So if I take it off on the weighing, it goes back to the regular weighing mo mode. If I have one kg weight, place it on the scale, 2.2 pounds, it would read, right? So let's just take that off. Okay. Now the second set of parameters that, that I want to show to you guys today is basically the check weigher. Check weighing option is used if you're manufacturing a particular part and you need to be, you know, you need to be within a range of weight. Let's just say under under two pounds, don't even count it, right? But anything after two pounds, I want the indicator to let me know that hey. You're in that range. And anything over four pound is no good, for example, right? So what you do is basically you hold down the function, weighing, counting, check weigher, and you have to set an upper and lower limit, okay? And the way you enter this particular parameter is you press yes. You want to clear it. It says, what's your, what's your under going to be? And you're going to press no to basically get into that. I'm sorry, you're going to press yes to get into the under. And from here, if we're not okay with what we see here, we have to enter the information in there. So we're going to press no. And this is the under, right? So we're going to say yes to move over, right? We're okay with the zero. Move over, yes. Press yes to move over. Press yes one more time to move over. And over here, I could put the number two, right? Anything under two, don't even, you know, don't count it. Press yes and yes. And for the last time, we'll press yes. And then it says over. So anything over what? I'm going to enter with yes, no, right? That's how you could change it. Press yes, yes, yes. And one last time. All right, here we'll press the no button to change that information. And you could do so also with this button too, right? You go up and down. And we'll go to the number four. And from here, we'll press yes and yes. Is it good with you? Four pounds, you say yes. 
So now I have our upper and lower limits set, right? Two and four pounds. So what does that mean? Anything that is under two pounds, it would just show me the yellow, right? But if I were to take that one kilogram, which is 2.2 .2 pounds, it should show me green. Place that on the scale and it does show me the green. Now, if I were to slightly take some weight off, you'll see, see it goes back to that yellow. If I were to put, leave that 2.2, .2, so this is your range, two pounds to four pounds. That's what we have set it at. And you could do it at whatever settings that suits your application, whatever you need the lower and, and, and upper check weight parameters to be. But if I were to put two kilograms, 4.4, .4, it should give me red. Because I'm crossing over 0.4 of a pound, right? Because we had a two and four right? Again, take the weight off, goes back to yellow, right? And then if I were to put the weight back on, you'll get green. So that's good. That's within range, right? What if I were to add more weight to it, right? Bunch of other screws. I still haven't hit that, you know, four pound weight for it to cross over. But if I did, I'm way over, right? It would show me red. And this is how you could use the check weigher parameter setting or the counting function as we showed you earlier. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And let us know if you have any questions. You can reach us at 661-888-1919 or info at libertyscales.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.